We have just a hair more than three friends to add to our table of friends today. Please give me one of our friends to add to the table of friends. Sam? Amplitude. The first one is amplitude. Hunter, the symbol of amplitude. Plus, sorry, take it. Capital A. The dimensions for amplitude are what? Three? Decibels would be something having to do with sound that absolutely I've yeah, never talked about it in this class. And we will actually not talk about decibels in this class. Uh, hit Hertz is the dimensions for something entirely different. We'll put that one down as the third one. Hertz. So that is not, those are not dimensions for amplitude, Juliana. Uh, meters or degrees. Why do we have two different ones? Meters or degrees? Because those are not really generally in the same category. Why is the amplitude either in meters or degrees? Adam? Uh, if we're talking about like centripetal stuff, like circles, not centripetal, but like. Uh, Actually, none of this is going to have to do with the angular, which is. In degrees. Yeah, but what would be angular in degrees? Velocity. Mm -hmm. no, that's okay. You missed it. Who can tell me what is the difference here? Learn? Uh, I think it's like the difference between like polar and like. No. Doesn't have to do with the between polar and linear. Uh, Carol. The pendulum. The pendulum versus. The um the uh, spring. They call it a mass spring system. So it just depends on whether you're talking about a mass spring system where you're going to have a linear dimension for amplitude, or a pendulum where you're going to have an angular dimension for the uh, amplitude. Uh, by definition, what is the amplitude, Kate? Um. Maximum displacement from <coughs> equilibrium position. Good. The maximum value you can have for x, the displacement from the equilibrium position. Good. We don't actually have an equation for the amplitude, so I'm going to write none there because it does not exist. Jack, give me something else to add to our table of friends. Frequency. Frequency, which is, of course, this third one here. Kaiser, what's the symbol for frequency? Lowercase f. The dimensions are hertz. What is hertz? Edward. Um. Hertz is a specific name for it, but we need to know what a hertz is, actually. Uh, cycles, cycles per second. So it's the number of cycles per second. Uh, let's see, we do, uh, what is the equation we're going to use for frequency? So what? Um, frequency equals one divided by the period. Good, one over the period, which of course brings us to the uh, second one that we're going to add here, which is the period symbol for which is a capital T. The dimensions for period. We have two different choices for the dimensions for period. Ashray? Seconds. Four. Um, seconds or what, Aaron? Seconds or... Right, so time per cycle? Seconds per cycle. Seconds per cycle. So by definition, it's the number of uh, seconds it takes per cycle, so you can call it seconds or seconds per cycle. We have two different equations for period. Pertinent, give me one or the other. Uh, period equals two by square root of. I over G. Uh, 
not an I. What is the letter there? No. L. L. This is the period for what? Puja? Um, it's not for a spring. The other one we'll have is the one for the spring. Okay. Pendulum. A pendulum. What is L in the equation for the pendulum? Rules me. The length of the string. It's actually technically not quite the length of the string. It's important to understand the distinction between the length of the string and what this actually is. James? Oh, distance from center of suspension to center of mass. So it's essentially the length of the string plus whatever length you need to get to the center of mass of the object. Uh, we also have the period of a mass spring system, which is equal to what? Get it? 2 pi um, square root m over k. Square root of m over k. Good. That completes our, our new friends to add to the table of friends. I also want to talk about the spring constant because we actually have a new equation for the spring constant. So go up a few rows. You'll find the spring constant and all of the things. You'll have elastic potential energy, but you want to add the force of the spring equals negative kx because we now have an equation for the force of a spring, not just the, uh, the equation for our elastic potential energy. So please add that to the spring constant rho. Now, this negative in the equation for the force of a spring means what, Jay? Something is opposite something else, Jay. Uh, uh, FS is opposite. Uh, FS. I'm sorry, I. I okay, uh, the F sub S stands for what? Um, force of the spring. Force of the spring. Is opposite to X. What is X? Um, the displacement from the equilibrium. So the displacement from equilibrium position. Remember, this negative simply identifies that the force of the spring is opposite the direction of the displacement from equilibrium position. Uh, once you have drawn your free body diagram and some of the forces, you've used that negative, so you're going to use the magnitude of that equation when solving the problem.